Right, okay, that's it. I've worked it out again now, because we need to move now. We need to skedaddle. Whoa. This is kind of... Right, I've gone loco here now in the motor. A bit of learning there, that's what I'm saying. So we're going to turn right here. So now we're, now we're, now we're... Right, so how do we get out of here now? What do I do? Love no money ain't gonna get me out of that. Mission failed, of course you Hi guys, I'm Stephen Gillard. For those of you who don't know me, I have my own unfortunate long history in organised crime, which ended up in a 17 year sentence as a category A and one of Britain's most dangerous prisoners. I have to say, although I know many people who have played them, I've never played them. But today I'm going to have a go at it. I'm going to go into Grand Theft Auto 5 and we're going to see just how authentic it is. Someone going to hand me the nice thingy, what's it called? The controller, yeah. Right, the, the controller. <laughs> Let's get this done. Right, okay. Are we ready to go here? Right, this is me. I'm masked up, guys, and we're going. I haven't a clue what I'm doing. I see there's another guy over there. I suppose he's on the phone. Right, all right, we've gone in there now. Right, we're going to liven them up. So he's gone in there and he's looking at everyone and we're controlling the situation. There's a few more people hanging around. Right, so he's brought them in there, all the rest of it. Wrapped them up. All the rest of it, as you do. Barking some instructions, some orders. This one here, right, I need to go like that, okay. I'm getting a bit of instruction here. Right, so I'm coming out. Right, okay. Goes to show you I have not a clue what I'm doing with this. So we're turning round. Right. And the thing is now, right, aim at the people. Right, we've aimed at the people. I've got these two other crazy people on the phone here and they seem to be doing it all for me. Right, so I need to do that. Right, and I've brought up that, and then I do that. So now I'm going to de detonate the explosive, and here we go. Of course, in real life, this would not happen. This is real bullshit, right? But you know, we're going to go for it. So now we're into this safe. <laughs> no planning, no nothing. Seems to be uh, right. But there's a yellow thing, right? So we're going to go forward here. And now we're moving. So we're gonna go round here now. So this is it. Right, I'll come back down a bit. I'm getting the swing of it, guys. Right, so I'm walking round. So we've blown up the thing and now we're into the safe. Right, so where we go now? Right, we're into the counting room. Big boxes of money. That's what it's all about, right? So like we go over there, it says, collect the cash. Shit, that was easy. Right, so everyone's, right, so we're putting the money in the bag. This bag's gonna be really heavy, right? Over the shoulder, everything's sweet. Right, we're going out now. For the life of me, I don't understand that. I've took a $179,000, it seems to be another big load of money, it's a counting room. We've left it, come out, and all of a sudden I've been taken hostage. Not quite sure what that's about. Me personally, that wouldn't have happened, right? That's another bit of BS going on there, right? So it says to switch hold. To switch, hold, so that one there. All right, I'm getting it. Right, and now what we're doing, it says a hold. Right, now we've got it. Right. Right, so what I've done there, guys, I can change places here, which I don't really understand, but now I'm on the other thing. What do you do? So you've got this guy now, he's got your pal, right? He's got your pal. Right, what do you do? So, right, so what do you do? Right, so I'm looking at him, and there you go. You're in, guys, I'm gonna, I've took him out of the game. There he is, you don't have any choice. This is what I'm saying about this armed robbery game, if it was real life. If you was in, you cross that line, you're already in trouble, don't do it, because now you're committed. Right, okay, I've got 170, $9,000, right? That seems like a lot of money, doesn't it? 170, it's not. 
It's pennies, it's a pittance, because let me tell you, you know, if you was getting hit with something like this and go away for the rest of your life, some people learn that in a month, some people learn that in a day. Other people, you definitely earn that money in a year or a couple of years, let me tell you. Right, so I'm not, right, where do I go now? There's something here. What are you doing? Nothing's what? happening. Right, so, right, now, you know, I seem to be stuck now in this bank or underneath this vault. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to this door, you know, because now we need to get out of there, right? So what are we gonna do? How do we get out of here? I'm waiting now because of course we gotta get out of the place. So we sit down here, he puts another explosive charge on there. Now we're through the next door. Okay. It's handy when they're doing it all for you, isn't it? Right, so he opens the shutter of the door. The thing about this game is it's good and it's really clever, the graphics. But if you don't know what you're doing and you're in blind light, this is madness. Because you're trying to get all the, all the... But it's well done, it's well done, I have to say. It's well done, you know, it's unbelievably well done. So now we're... Right, so I need to, right, I'm going to cover up. These people are shooting at me, right? So I need to, right, so we're going to fight back here. There you go. So now it's about letting down a lot of fire, right? Suppression fire. So, you know, you've got to, you've got to go for it. Like I said, you're all in here, look, so, it's, so they're all shooting. So we're gonna get him over the back, see so he keeps sticking his head out. Now he's gone. Now we're gonna go over there. Now we got him now. Because what you've got to do is you've got to clear the field, guys, haven't you? Do you know what I mean? You know, you're not gonna get out of there because he'll shoot you in the back. So you got him there as well. Let's get him. There you go, we got him. Is there anyone else? We got him again, look. See what I mean? I've took my mask off there, which I would never do, which is craziness. Because now everyone can see you, your face, so you're nicked. Right, right, so I'm going down. Getting out of here now. So this, I take it, is a depot, right? You know, we're in the back of the depot. It's amazing to me as well, how we're just getting ammunition, ammunition, ammunition. I mean, in normal, that's not gonna happen, right? So let's go a little bit uh, forward down here. There's a gun battle going down here. So I need to get a bit more further forward here, I've got to get involved. If you're not fast here, you're last, and believe you me, it's all about timing. And this is why you've got to keep coming, uh, you've got to keep coming forward in these things. It's a bit hard to try and get the thing here, to get it round. Right, so I'll keep moving forward a bit here. So, you know, I'd throw down a bit more fire here, and I'd go right across. You know, and I'd make sure there's a, you know, a real arc of fire here. I'm getting shot somewhere here. There's this guy here. I need to get over, I'll take some cover. So I need to, oh shit. You see, and I got killed there, right? Because, and that's what happens when bullets are flying. You know, it's like that. Great game though. <laughs> Great game, I think. Right, okay, we're firing again. Right, okay, we got him now. Right, there was someone there behind the, behind the car. Right, we're going down here. Guys, I'll tell you what, so much more better to do this, you know, than do it in real life. Real life will get you killed, right? It'll just, you know, it'll kill other people, you know, and it'll uh, take your life and get you, in, uh, get you in prison for the rest of your life, for years and years. You know, as long as you can distinguish between reality you know, the reality of doing bad things like these, or just playing a game, I think it's a good thing. It's, you know, it's fun. You know, I think it's okay. I think it opens up, you know, an understanding, you know, of this kind of stuff. But look, I want to know about that. Let's know, guys, you know, I'm interested about that question as a father myself. Right, so I'm onto a lane there. I do not know where I am going again, right? I haven't got a map or anything. So what do I do? I keep running. Oh, right, okay. And I was wondering what that was, because obviously we want the car here. Right, and then I'm back to the car. Right, so it's this triangle. That's great. Now I can get in the car, because I've got the money now, right? We've had a massive, crazy shootout. 
with the police and everything. Got out of the place, now we need to go. All right, so we're in the car. I have to say, in many ways, this is probably the best part of a bit of work. Although you know, you know, not until you do the changeover card, you think you got away with it. Let's just say in real life. But here, of course, you don't, because this is what happens with this, they're on you. Right, so now we're fighting with the old Bill again, shooting. He shot the driver in the head, in the car. You know, who's with me. I've kind of took over the, took over the car. Right now we're driving, right? You know, I'm driving, not quite sure how that happened. It says, now hold R2. Right, okay, that's it. I've worked it out again now, because we need to move now. We need to skedaddle. Whoa, this is kind of, right, I've gone loco here now in the motor. Bit of learning there, that's what I'm saying. So we're gonna turn right here. Shit. So now we're, now we're, now we're fucked. Right, so how do we get out of here now? What do I do? Love nor money ain't gonna get me out of that. Mission failed, of course he fucking did. I can come back and I can do that again. In real life, you're dead or you're in prison. Right, so I'm saying to be gentle, not something I'm good at. Right? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So what we're doing here now, right, now we got it. Now it's on like a Grand Prix kind of driving thing. Right, all right, so now we're going, we're giving it some. It's typically me, we're doing 120. Here we come, whoa, watch him, yeah, it's all right, he's moved, shit. All right. Right, we're gonna do a move. If this was me now, I'd say, right, out. Straight, straight, straight out, and it'd be, uh, it'd be on again. Not the wisest thing, but you know, you're running out of options here. So how do I get out of this? This is like a real advertisement to not do armed robbery. I'm very happy about that, right, by the way. You know, you know another track. Whoa, shit. There's a train. A train come out of nowhere. Now, what is the odds, right? I had no idea about that at all. And of course, it hit me. How, how we walk out of that, I'll never know. Where the train come from, I'll never know. Right, you know, but here we are, right? So we get back out. What do you do now? I mean, this game's great because it just gives you your real bullshit challenges all the time. Trains and cars flipping over and all that, you know. We're still upright here, I've got guns. Now there's another guy. Right, right, so I'm running, I'm in the mist. I'll be happy with that, because this is great. It gives me some kind of a chance, right? Well guys, out there, all you lovers of Grand Theft Auto and other similar games, I hope you like that reaction from me. You know, I was a real thing back in the day, believe you me, God, you know, I did love the game, you know. Uh, if I'd have found this when I was 30, my life, might have been different. I have to say, I'm gonna go into other missions on this game and we're gonna have some fun and I'm gonna to react to that and see just how authentic they are too. And you know, the guys here in the studio, they've built up an avatar for me, like a mugshot, I guess, my character, as I go through Grand Theft Auto and I'm waiting to see it. Mikey, where is it, the avatar? Well, it's Mr. Blue. Is that how you put me down, Mr. Blue, at a Reservoir Dogs? Yeah, he's got the look of me. I like that, the way he come out there and done it. We're going to have some great fun with this, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know below any, any, anything you want to see, any other games, or where you would like me to go in this genre on this new playlist of Stephen Gillen reacts to some of the best games out there.